Ever wondered why did people invest in companies such as Paytm, Zomato and Nike of the world? Herd mentality aside, these companies were real new age innovators which had disrupted their respective field of businesses. People love to invest in innovative companies. But we need to understand that innovation is not just about technology, there is more to it. Before I tell you more about it, let's come to the context. So ICICI Prudential AMC has come out with a new fund offer named ICICI Prudential Innovation Fund. So in this video, I'll tell you more about it. Should you invest in this fund or not? Everything you will know in just a while. I am Aprajita, a certified financial planner and a financial journalist and you are watching my YouTube channel. What is it that comes to your mind when you think about innovation? Technology, isn't it? But tech companies are not sole innovators. For example, an airline company simply innovated by offering affordable prices, better connectivity, more space. I won't take the name, but this particular airline company increased its market share from 2% in 2007 to 55% by 2022. Coming to auto industry, share of SUVs has been rising over the last couple of years. Why? Because auto companies have been offering value for money, more space, affordable prices, fuel efficiency and more. So innovation is not just technology, it can be product, process, service or solution oriented. With this logic that innovation is everywhere, ICICI Prudential AMC has launched ICICI Prudential Innovation Fund which will invest in equity and equity related securities of companies and units of global mutual funds and ETFs focusing on innovation theme. It has identified a couple of sectors where it sees further scope of innovation. A survey states that 5G related services may attract an investment of $12 trillion by 2035. So 5G led innovation not just can impact telecom sector but various other sectors such as manufacturing, mobility, logistics, fintech, energy and healthcare among others. Capital expenditure in railways has grown at a 15% CAGR over the last 5 years. So this sector is ripe for innovation as customer experience and freight handling capability take center stage. There are many other such sectors such as defense, energy and auto and auto ancillaries where ICICI potential AMC sees for the scope of innovation. So how will fund managers choose companies in this particular fund? So this fund will focus on quality and growth investment style over value investment style. So in quality and growth investment style, fund manager focuses on companies which might be charging premium, which might be trading at premium valuation due to their innovation factor, but these companies will be recording comparatively higher profit and revenue growth. And these companies will have low debt, asset light business model, higher margin and more cash flows. Another important point is that ICICI Prudential Innovation Fund will be sector and market cap agnostic. It means it can invest across sectors in large cap, mid cap or small cap companies. It is because innovation can happen anywhere. It, it doesn't have to be specific to any sector or any market cap. The fund will also be investing globally because if we talk about stock market investment, then a lot of innovation themes are not available in India. So this fund focusing on global investment is another positive. Talking about existing market scenario, central banks across the world seem to be at the fag end of interest rate hike cycle. So this is just the right time to explore attractive opportunities among growth stocks which tend to perform well when interest rate hike cycle transforms. And this NFO will predominantly invest in such companies. Another important point is that even though it's a thematic fund, even though innovation is a theme-based investment, but still, typical risk of investing in thematic funds are not there because this fund will be sector and market cap agnostic. So you may consider investing in this fund, but allocate only a small part of your portfolio in this fund and focus on long-term horizon. The NFO is already going on. The last day to invest in this fund is 24th April. So make a move, quickly invest in this fund if you want to. But if you miss the deadline, then don't worry. After a couple of weeks, this fund will go live for lump sum and SIP investment as well. And if you do it now, if you invest in NFO, then minimum investment limit is 5,000 rupees. If you have any query related to this NFO or any other investments, then do drop those in comments below. I'll come back soon with more such interesting videos. Till then, keep watching my YouTube channel. Do subscribe to it. Thank you.